Last time in our Let's Play world, we made a house for our nether portal, but the inside of our nether is ugly and confusing, so I want to fix that. So this is our new nether portal house. You can see the portal there. And I think we'll start by making different colour paths in the nether to different places. Using wool. Oh, hee hee, close up. We're going to need heaps of wool, which is where we encounter our first issue. We have this tiny little sheep area, and this is our automatic sheep farm. I keep changing the colour of the wool and then having to go AFK because we never actually have the colour we want. But what if we made an extension to the sheep area back here and we did a little sheep sharing house? I feel like that could be cute and it'll give us more room for a couple more automatic sheep farms. So let's get started by clearing this out. Okay, so we will extend the path over here and the sharing shack will be here. Just ignore the ugly ground right now, it's going to be all covered up. But I was thinking we might want enough room for about four more automatic sheep farms. Or maybe three, but like roughly that. So we'll have a big three wide entrance and then this. And then we'll go back in threes as well. One, two, three, pillar. And fill in the wall. So this is the basic structure of the walls. I think we'll do a softly curved roof of slabs and then something coming out from the top. But we also need to strip these. Okay, that is the roof done and now we need to do the walls. We're going to use oak and I'm thinking of having windows in the front here. Well, actually, maybe we'll go like this. I like using partly planks and partly stripped logs because it adds a little bit of texture. Okay, I think that will be good and we can add a couple of details and basically repeat it all around the sides. And then the front will stay kind of open like a big barn door. After that I started working on the roof and a section that comes up from the top of the roof. And I think with that, that completes the outside of the sharing house. And this is what it looks like from a bit higher up, we'll have to add some more trees and flowers and stuff around the sides. But I think for now this is good and I've mapped out a little area for the auto sheep farms. So I'm going to grab the supplies, make those, and then go AFK for some wool. We are done and we should have a little bit of wool at this point. Obviously our little farm down here has also been running. So we have this we'll be able to use. And then this is what the sharing house looks like. There's just like storage barrels and chests. And we have three little sheepies. 20 so far. Okay, not bad. We'll just keep letting them do their thing while we organize our nether. And for that, we're going to start by taking some wool with us. And we'll need, yeah, we'll need gold. Okay, gold booties on and we'll just hop over to our brand new nether portal over here. Oh, also, you guys had some good suggestions for the top floor up here. The thing I saw most people say was make it into a nether wart farm and there's clearly been an enderman here. But people said a nether wart farm in a potions area. So I'm gonna try to do that at some point. But right now we are hopping in here. Okay, so our nether is a mess and it's ugly. This is our little safety house and I want to improve this today and make a nice big nether house. There's not a lot of room to expand it outwards since we're kind of on this cliff side. But we can expand it up and that'll allow us to see it better as well from far away. Then our other issue here is this form of pathing is ugly and not good. Also, the cobble kind of goes in every direction, so it ends up not being a path or a route at all. My idea with the wool was to make it into color-coded carpets. So this, for example, and then it needs to come down here because this teal color is color-coded to lead us to the warped forest. And on the way there, it's also going to lead us to our stronghold portal. Oh, 
just. Hello. Why are they so loud? You're so loud. And you're out here wrecking my little path. So rude. And with that, we have a much clearer path all the way to the stronghold. And that is only the beginning, but before we do anything else, I want to sort out this gross house. And by sort it out, I mean take it down. Okay, so it looks like this really is teetering on a cliff's edge here. Which is kind of dumb. But I want to build something a lot prettier around it, and this is going to be my first time trying to build something nice in the nether. So we'll see how annoying the ghasts get. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh look! Ah! There. Oh boy, I feel like we'll need a ghast kill counter. So that was number one. Okay, so we'll make this one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is seven. We are good. We're going to do seven by seven. That only just fits the portal, but we'll do another story above it. But let's just start by building this up. Okay, that is done. Now we need to work on the area above it, which is going to be a lot of crimson wood and calcite. And we're going to tuck our shulker boxes away so they don't get hit by ghasts. We're going to mostly avoid using blocks that burn, but I have fire tick off, so we do have a little bit of dark oak. But I think we'll just use that for details, and we're mostly going to go with the crimson. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so the gas counter was a lot lower than I thought, but it also was a lot quicker to build this house than I thought. It looks cute though, I like it. We have an increasing pile of pigs outside. I think they're just accumulating the longer I'm here and the inside is super cramped. It's even worse because I've got all my stuff from working, but we'll pick that up in a minute and we'll make a little floor. Okay, and then this is tiny, but we have a bunch of different floors, which we definitely don't need. So this one's going to be purple. And then from here, we can continue up another level. And we end up in the roof. And we absolutely do not actually need this much space in the nether house. But one thing I often wish I have in the nether is a little bit of storage. So we're going to make one of them into a storage room. So a bunch of chests and barrels. Okay, wait, I'm hearing my chance to add to the ghast count. Hello, lady. And I ended up making the whole thing storage. But now I'm going to head back to the overworld and grab some wool to make another one of these paths. The next path is going to go in the direction of spawn, but also in the direction of the crimson forest. For the crimson forest, we could use red, but it kind of blends in with the nether. I would like something that stands out a little more. Maybe magenta? I think we also have more at our house. So I got to work making a second pathway that goes in the opposite direction to the first. And now we have this magenta pathway that goes all the way from our nether house to spawn which is just around the corner and also the crimson biome. Also, I love how even when our house is invisible, look, you can see the smoke in the chimney. It can help us find our way home. Although I think for now I am over zombie pig sounds and near the navigation, so we're going back to the overworld. And the last thing we need to get done is decorating the top floor of this near the house. So we have this. We've got a teal bed for the warped forest and a red bed for the crimson forest. But other than that, it does need some decorating, and I think we'll put a warped wart farm in the middle. Because we do not have one yet. We have like three planted somewhere. Where are they? Somewhere over here. Yeah, I think this does not classify as a farm. But not to worry. We will make one. And we're done. This is the wrong floor though, but we did theme the top like the bottom, so a warped side and a crimson side. We have the nether wart farm in the middle and some brewing stands over here, and of course a nice view out the balcony. 
But then in case I come through the portal and it's night, we have a crimson themed bedroom and a warped bedroom. So we can easily just come from the portal and go upstairs and sleep. This was a very buildy episode, but I think that'll be all for today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!